Welcome back to another episode of the best Beat Saber maps of the month. In this series, I highlight some of my favorite maps that have been released this month, and today, since it's Halloween, I'll be covering some spooky maps for you as well. So let's dive in. It wouldn't be a best maps list without a Swifter map. Swifter made this one to the song Dormant by A Cloudy Sky and made it for the Beat Saber Halloween contest. And it's a freaky one. This map starts off with some ripple type effects that sync up with the blocks and lighting to create a real eerie feel. It kind of feels like you're in some alien cave or something and the ripples echo throughout it. This map definitely creates an uncomfortable feeling but takes things up a notch with the appearance of this creature in the background and it has this big bright red eye. The creature then slowly walks towards you staring at your soul with his big red eye. This creeped me out so much but I absolutely loved it and considering it's Halloween it's very fitting for this video. Swifter also dedicated this map to their friend Lone, who sadly passed away recently. You may know her as the lighter of the maps from the song Try and the 15 Sublimit. To keep on the Halloween theme, our next song is a Halloween classic, and that is of course Spooky Scary Skeletons. This one is an electro swing remix of the song and is mapped by Nixie Corton. This map is pretty dancing and has some really nice flow. It also uses arcs and change in some pretty fun ways. And it also uses the Beat Saber Halloween environment and has some really nice lighting. Before we dive in into our next map, we have a message from today's sponsor, Nexigo. It may be the spooky month, but there's nothing scarier than your VR headset going flat mid-gameplay. Thanks to the Nextigo Enhanced Charging Dock, my quest is always charged, so I never have to worry about it being flat when I go to use it. It uses a magnetic USB adapter to slot into your dock to start charging. But not only that, it also charges your controllers. It uses rechargeable batteries, so when you slot it into the dock, it automatically starts charging. The dock is sleek and stylish and is a great addition to my setup. You can check out the link below to get yours on Amazon, but for now, let's get back to the video. Next up, we have another Halloween map, and this one is a soundtrack from the game Luigi's Mansion. At first, I was like kinda underwhelmed with this map because not much was happening, but I was very wrong. It definitely has some tricks and treats for you to enjoy. The blocks glitch and disappear while some ghost-like blocks appear on the side. It also uses the default Halloween environment, but has some cool additions like the trees dancing and some really cool bats. This one was really cool and a really nice surprise. Next up, the most spooky thing about this map is the potential to lose your lunch. This map is for the song Halloween is Chaos by Rough Sketch and mapped by Storm Pacer. And this map is pretty much chaos. There's blocks flying everywhere, the environment spinning around you, and the lights are absolute chaos. And the song for this one's pretty heavy, so uh, not everyone's cup of tea, but I had lots of fun playing it. Next up, we have a Fitbeat map, but it's for the Halloween theme. This one is for the song Rave in the Grave by Little Sis Nora and Matt by Scala Door in collab with Arahi. This one has lots of twists and squats and technical swings, so it's not for the faint of heart. But I'm really enjoying seeing all these Fitbeat maps. They definitely add another level of workout to your gameplay, but most of the time they kill me. I can only do like one and then I have to go rest. Next up, we have a one-handed map, and this one absolutely blew me away. The song is Laser Beam by the J-pop band Perfume, and this one is mapped by Altapawi. This one uses the Lizzo environment in a pretty interesting way, and I find it really interesting that there's one saber, and I think that's because of the really cool stuff they do with arcs and blocks. This map is constantly changing the color of blocks, and with one saber, you don't have to worry about hitting the right block. I think the coolest thing with this map is that the arcs change colors as well. But most impressively, there's rainbow arcs, which looks so heckin' cool, and I was really excited to see that. So amazing work with this map, it was a real treat, I wasn't expecting it, and uh, yeah, some stuff I haven't seen before. Colored arcs, really cool. Next up we have another dancey map and this one is mapped by Dee Dee and it's so much fun with this map. The song is Mambo by DJ Steve Aoki and I don't know if I have much to say about this map but it's just it's so fun. It's one of those ones you have to play to kind of really understand the enjoyment behind it. But it flows really good and has lots of dance elements and the lighting's lots of fun. But again another awesome dance map by Dee Dee. Next up we have a map that I'm probably a little bit biased about and that's because I'm a big fan and that's Cure For Me by Aurora. 
I absolutely love Aurora. So I'm pretty stoked that this song has been going viral on TikTok. And this one is mapped by Lekka and it's a really fun one to play. Use of arcs are really nice. But I think that pretty much sums up my favorite maps of the month. There's seriously so many, I could talk about them all day, um, but this is just to highlight some of the really cool ones that caught my eye this month. If you've got a favorite map that was released this month that I didn't cover, make sure to leave a comment down below. And you can join our Discord if you want to add recommendations for next month's maps. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.